Good morning. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, Creating in the Waiting. Today we are going to be making writing boards. So if you're not sure what a writing board is, let me just kind of explain a little bit because you may or may not know. But sometimes we have a journal, like I'm going to be making one for this where we want like a hard surface underneath something that might be bumpy. So we can simply take a writing board that we're gonna make and pop it up underneath the paper and so we can write. Now the temptation with the writing boards for me is really gonna be to embellish it and you wanna keep these as flat as possible. So don't really, I'm probably not gonna sew. Let's see. I might so I might so we'll see that I mean that wouldn't to me that wouldn't add too much and I don't have any chipboards so what I'm gonna use is the bottom of a paper pad and I'm gonna cut it down to the size that I want it to be and I know that my Alice um, book is around eight inches tall so what I'm gonna do is just maybe That might be a good size. That's around seven inches. Let me just see here. Let's do it. Let me just, I'm going to end up packing this but it's fine. It's a little bit taller than that, actually. Maybe. I'm going to keep, of course, all of these pieces for maybe something else. And this is actually going to be the... I want it maybe to where I can pop it in a pocket. The Let's Make It Monday. So right now we are working on, and I'll show you, I'm going to come on and actually make one with you guys tomorrow for the um, hashtag all things altered. Um, but my Savage Take 5 is a little secret pocket that I made with the bottom of a paper sack. So I'm going to hop on tomorrow and do that with you guys. Let's see. Can actually do this a little bit smaller. I'd rather start cutting too big versus too small. And I have this really cute Stamperia paper that I am going to wrap it with, and it's almost kind of like doing a journal cover. But I'm going to want this. Let me try to move you guys a little bit. I'm going to want that for sure there. And this fold, I am probably going to want on the back so that there is no bulk in the front. And then maybe have this kind of on the side. I'm just going to kind of see what this would look like there. Yeah, we're going to go with that. And I'm just going to kind of fold it and see how I might need to cut it. If you have a scoreboard, you can do that. So I'm just going to mark it. where I would need that cut. And I'm going to go ahead and 
use my bone boulder. So this tripod leg, I'm sorry that I know that it's annoying, but this is how I have to film. But trust me, it's, it gets in my way. Just really trying to fold that down as straight as I can. And then I'm going to just slide my little thingamabobber in there. Going to give myself maybe about half of an inch on the top and on the bottom so that I can wrap it. So I'm just going to come here and cut there. This is making sense in my head. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to save these little pieces from this. And to eliminate some of the bulking, I'm going to snip that off. So that I can wrap it. So let's go ahead and snip this little Let's fold it first. I need to pull that kind of all the way over. I'm just butting it right up against that and getting my fold going so that then I can snip those little square pieces off to eliminate some of that. I didn't just mess that up. I'll come here and do the same thing. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it was that first fold I did, so it got kind of confusing. I feel like what I'm wanting to do is snip that, but I'm not going to do that right now. It's 
been a while since I made one of these. I'm honestly going to start just gluing this down. I feel like I want... I need to cut this. Like, cut in that. So that it folds around my piece. glue this part down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my 3M1. I mean, if anything, I could put lace and stuff on the back. I'm going to go ahead and get this down too. And I am probably going to sew around my edges. Now, if you don't care if the sides are wrapped around, you could literally just put a piece on the front and a piece on the back and call it a day. So then I feel like what I'm going to do is now fold this in. entire piece. I'm going to snip this whole piece off. In hopes to cut straight and not mess my whole thing up. It's not really going to matter because that's going to get covered. Just trimming it better so that it fits in there better. I could put my ribbon on that. So I'm going to go ahead and sew, or I'm sorry, glue this down. Just having an issue with my 3M1. glue these little pieces down and then that way it's you know completely wrapped around that's cute I feel like the stitching wouldn't mess it up at all and that's a good little writing surface I like that I want to take a moment and thank all my subscribers for being here Welcome all my new subscribers, and if you're visiting my channel, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you're notified whenever I upload anything new. Check out the Monday hashtag, All Things Altered, which is an open collab. So if you have a channel, it's a good way to kind of help your channel grow, but to also get to know people in the community. Use the hashtag in the title, all things altered. And then in the description box, mention my channel as the host. And you simply alter anything. Like tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the bottom of a paper sack. That's cutesy pootsy. I'm really wanting to embellish that so that's going to be a problem 
but I do want to sew. I, I'm okay with the back like this also. Let's go ahead and sew. I'm going to be really upset if my sewing machine starts to go crazy. before it messes up my writing board. I'm just gonna snip that. More than likely I am gonna come with some ribbon there. I think my bobbin might be running out. So I'm gonna do my bobbin and I will be right back with you guys and we will finish her up. It won't take any time at all. All right guys, let's go ahead and finish sewing around our writing board. I do think on the back I want to put some of the ribbon um, kind of right there where my stitching might have messed up some on the back because my bobbin I mean it's really not that big of a deal though it's super cute let's see if I want to put some ribbon I definitely don't want it on the front because, again, the bulking. But I think I do want a little snip of it right here. Might even put a little bow. Cute. Again, I don't want anything on the front, which is why I use this pretty paper because of that reason. All right, guys, or, you know, to be able to use it as the writing board. So if you have an embellishment that is popping or something and you don't, you know, it's not as smooth as what you want it, you could pop your little writing board here and write. I really feel like I want to put this in a big pocket, but I'm not sure where there is going to be space. I could just simply, what I could do with this writing board is that whenever my signatures go in, so we'll have signature one and signature two, and they'll be like this, I can just pop my little writing board right there. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Y'all be blessed and create what brings you joy. Bye.